So it's got the six buttons, and then I use this as a run and a coin button, and then the start button. So other than that, it was all original when I took the paint off. Um, that was the original block, but they had changed it to a um, Street Fighter, so it had six buttons. And straight across, I really like that. So yeah, this is how the Hyperspin I have it set up. Just the basic startup. And then it brings the videos in. Um, so I'll just push the start button and that brings it up the games. And I changed mine to uh, instead of the spin, just straight down. I like that a lot more. Um, I think it's easier. Um, so when I stop on a game, show the video. And I'll have some artwork. And I'll just click the start button. And I haven't quite figured that, taking those off yet. to escape, I just push these two. And it takes me back to the game. Um, uh, yeah. So that's the good thing about having that extra button there. So when you're playing Mortal Kombat 3, you can hold the run button and, and use it like the original. Um, but it's a 27 inch Wells Gardner monitor um, and then I could have ran the quarters through that but I didn't let me get my ass kicked playing one fingered and then escape one more time So I have the wheel art originally for that, and these are just sideways like that. And then if you hold sideways on the button, you can go through it like that. Um, or if you just push one at a time, then it changes I, J, K. Um, but yeah. And then, then you get to the game that you want. Wow. I'll bring up the information, but there it is.